buying the entire Off-White the 10 collection with just a $20 bill. Well, you guys know how it goes. I'm not actually buying the entire Off-White the 10 collection with just this bill, but I'm buying and selling and trading things that I buy with this bill to get to the entire Off-White the 10 collection. And we start off this week with a sneaker collection fund of $9.65. So let's get to it. So I'm not seeing much in the men's section today. We got some large Pegasus, some like Hyperdunk things. And then we've got some like Nike Freeze, but that's about it. The rest are kind of like no names. We got some Deodoras here, I guess, but that's about it. And some brand blacks, actually. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna head over to the case at the front, see if I can find anything worthwhile. I still got these 11s, but I'm still not picking them up. I don't think they're worth it. So I've got some Nike stuff. Kind of look like Dunks. I don't know what those are, actually. But I'm really considering this PlayStation thing, but it's 125, so it'd be a personal pickup. I'll have to look into it, because I, I have no idea what that is. Some kind of hard drive. I'll text Riff, Editor Riff, and see what he says. All right, so I'm seeing that the PlayStation hard drive Final Fantasy bundle is going for like 150 online. Obviously, we don't have 125 in the sneaker collection fund, at least right at this moment. So it's just probably not even worth it for the personal pickup, because I think after like fees and shipping, it'd be like a $5 profit. And I don't know what condition the thing is actually in. I saw the box. The box was in not the best condition, but not the worst condition. But it's kind of crazy to see something that you literally never find. So, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna hit up like Retro Rick and Riff and see what their opinions are on it. And then I might come back if it's worth picking up. So I'll have to wait and see. Got some A6, some Gel Light 3s. Bunch of Gel Light 3s, actually. Gel Lights of some kind. 40 bucks, not bad. So this is where we found the Kennedy Meeks pair. I'm kind of hopeful I find something else, but I kind of doubt it. We do have some large cleats though. That could be something, but I don't know anything about cleats. Got some Hoka's, a little dirty. Some Brooks Glycerin's, always a good pickup. For how much? 10 bucks. That might be an option. Some Crocs, well, actually not Crocs. We got some Alberts here, which I actually thought were 350s at first glance because of the knit, but they're not anywhere close. <laughs> we got some Pegasus, it looks like, in a large size. A bunch of red Pegasus, actually. I wonder if like someone just really loves red Pegasus. I was just getting rid of their entire collection. All 24 bucks, not worth it. Oh, these Hokies are nice though. 10's not bad, but they are a little bit dirtier than I would like. Over here we got some Air Max 97's for 15 women's size in a color that I don't, don't think will go for much. It's, oh, it's not actually kid size, so it's a 5 wide. Dang. All right guys, so I just got into Center City, Philadelphia. Bad news is, is that it's pouring rain, as you guys can see, but the good news is, I'm actually wearing my Vessies. And as a sneakerhead, you might be thinking to yourself, why would I wear Vessies? But it actually makes sense, especially the weather like today, when you don't want to ruin your thousand dollar sneakers. So these are the Vessi Sohos, and I've actually had this pair of shoes for about two months. They actually sent them to me early, so huge thank you to Vessi for that. But this is a shoe that I actually throw on literally whenever it's raining. And as a sneakerhead who has way too many pairs of expensive sneakers, it's nice to have a pair of shoes that I can throw on that are lightweight and and comfortable that I'm not worried about beating up, especially when it's pouring rain like it has been all week. Not only are Vessi's shoes lightweight, easy to put on, and also pretty decent looking. I really like the Soho design. It's a brand new sneaker design that they just dropped. The best part about Vessi's is that they're waterproof, which means your socks, especially if you're wearing apothecary socks, will never get wet. And I can attest to that. I've been wearing these all week in the rain, and as you guys see in today's video, I'm walking through a bunch of puddles, and my socks are completely dry. Now, to be completely honest, Vessi actually reached out to me about a year ago, but I didn't want to talk about a pair of shoes that I didn't think I was gonna like and promote something that I wasn't a fan of personally because I try to only promote things that I actually use on this channel. And then a couple months later, because I kept seeing Vessi ads, I decided to actually review a pair for myself, going into it thinking, there is no way they can be as good as these ads are saying. And I was genuinely really surprised that they actually did exactly what they said they were gonna do. They were lightweight, they were comfortable, and they kept my feet dry. So when Vessi reached out once again to do a sponsorship, I said, you know what, let's do it. Let me wear the shoes for a couple months first before I promote them to make sure that I actually like them. And genuinely, I do like these shoes a lot. And I mean, seriously, these shoes are waterproof. You can put your feet under a hose and they won't get wet. It's crazy. I will say that they do run a little bit snug, so if you're grabbing a pair of these for yourself, which I actually really recommend, through the link in the top of the description below. If you don't like a snug, fit maybe go up half a size but I grab these in my true size a size 9 and while they are a little bit snug they fit me great and they're incredibly comfortable for all day wear and you know what it's crazy to say but this has become one of my most worn pairs of sneakers over the last two months since I've owned it I keep it by my door I throw it on whenever it's not so nice outside or whenever I want to wear a pair of shoes that is completely waterproof so if you want to check out Vessies for yourself make sure to click the link in the top of the description below I really love the Soho style I think if you guys go with this one you won't be disappointed and of course huge thank you to Vessie for supporting the channel Let's we'll see what's up, let's we'll see what we got here. We got some, some dunks for 179, size 10. 
See if I can find anything that's worth like the flip. These are dope. I really love these, but not for 179. You got the reverse Chicago's for 149. You got the fear ones for 229. Of course the car mines. Not a bad price. Whew. 399 for these? That's crazy. 249 for this size 11. You're kidding. For these off whites? That's dope. Let me check these guys out. That's actually a really dope price. I'm gonna have to grab these. Let me see what the other condition of the other side of pair is. Not bad, man. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to grab these. I'm assuming they don't have a box, but for 249, that's not bad. This might be a quick flip. So I know it's not part of the series, but I'm gonna have to grab these because the price is crazy. Got some foams here, some metallic reds for 79. Not bad. Not bad. Some DJ Khaled's for 149. I think I got these cheaper at the outlet, but it's still dope to see. We got some ALDs right here for 149. That might actually be a dope price. I'm gonna check these guys out. Oh, wait, those fear gods up here too. That's cool. I've always one of these. 109 size 10, that's not bad. Got some dunks here in the size nine for 99. Kind of like a Halloween vibe, kind of dig it. I don't know if that's a good price though. So I'm gonna leave them. Got some Aqua 8s. I love the Aqua 8s. 109, beautiful. Small size though. Got some bronze up here, here we go. Soldiers maybe? I'm not sure what these are. For how much? 39, that's not bad. Let me check these guys out actually. That might be a steal. Never mind, not worth it for that price to go for less on eBay. There's so much dope stuff here too. You got the twos, you got some dunks. It's all just like a little out of my price range, but it is all fire. And it's all for like really good prices too. And I would assume that most of it's legit too, because I think that they do check them before they sell them. So that's really cool to see. All right, so we did pick something up at Second Street. It's not exactly what I thought we were gonna pick up. And it's also not something I can make part of the series because unfortunately it costs way too much. However, if we did have this much money in the fund, this would have been an amazing pickup. So I grabbed these off-white uh, Nike Dunks. These are 16 to 50. Now I'm not 100% sure if they're legit. They were 249, so it's an expensive gamble. But I think with Second Street, as long as you keep the tags on the shoe, um, after you have them legit checked, you can bring them back um, and they will take them back. So that's the, that's the hope with these. I think that they are legit, they just don't have a box. And after looking at these guys on eBay, I think I can flip these for like 400 bucks, so like $150 profit. I figure that's a good way to keep it interesting because so far this week I haven't found anything. So if I grab something else for a personal pickup that I can flip, um, probably on whatnot, I feel like it's gonna be a good, a good pickup. First time back at the second street in a minute. Not seeing too much off the rip, but there's some decent stuff here regardless. Like we got some Y3s, got some Pharrell's, decent amount of Jordans. We got the Brazil Dunks. Actually, let's check the prices on the Brazil Dunks, because I'm not sure 279 is probably not worth it. We got some Flu Game 12s here in a size nine, which is my size. That's dope for how much? 229, that's about what they go for. Got some Chicago 3s, some Laney 1s, which just released too. Some Legend Blues for 159, that's not bad, actually. My size too, I really love it. What else we got? Some Phoenix Suns 8s, some Gatorade 6s, nothing over here. Got some Flyknit Dunks, I didn't even know this were a thing. Are these Flyknit Dunks? I think they are, that's crazy. What else we got? Some cool suede boys over here, 459. That's not bad, I'm gonna check these guys out because I actually don't know what these are. So these are actually the Celestine Blues and they actually go for a good amount, but not pre-owned, so I'm gonna leave them. Got some Bodega New Balances. Got some of the uh, the undefeated Air Force ones. I love to call the Stussies. How much are these going for? I know they're at the outlet for cheap, but 149 now, cheaper than that at the outlet. We got these guys, the Feezies. We got the Air Max 4s. These actually go for around that. That's not a bad price if you're trying to grab these. We got these clean ones too, very nice. Which is nothing priced under what it should be priced. I think everything's priced really well here, which is good, but uh, not good if I'm trying to flip some stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave all this for now. Unfortunately, another strikeout at Second Street, so Gonna hit up Atmos, because apparently it's leaving the city for good. Uh, I don't think I'll find anything here for the series, but I do want to check it out before it leaves. All right, so unfortunately, kind of fruitless trip to Center City today. Uh, we did find those off-whites from earlier, but nothing from like the other Second Street or Buffalo Exchange. I did go to Atmos because literally, as I was driving here, this news came out that Atmos was closing all of its US locations, which is awful. It's like my favorite store in Philly, besides maybe Lapson and Hammer. They're both like equal in my mind because I bought so many sneakers from there. I've camped out at both spots. 
Um, so it is a really, really sad thing that's happening that they're closing down, but they're not closing down until January. I made sure to go in and ask, so I didn't film anything in there because there wasn't really, honestly, there wasn't a lot of releases in there other than maybe like some airships, which uh, I'm not going to pick up. But definitely some other good stuff to come from them before they close. It's just a really sad uh, situation in its entirety. One other good piece of news, or one good piece of news, is that I actually hit on the Satin Bread 1 somehow on Early Access on the Sneakers app, which is crazy. I never hit on anything on the Sneakers app, and I hit in the Satin Breads, which is amazing. So I got them for retail. Again, I don't think I don't think it's gonna be for the series because um, it's 180 bucks. I don't have 180 bucks, but it is what it is. Personal pickup, I guess. <laughs> That's sort of the theme of today. I mean, it's crazy because I've been hitting on so much good stuff, but I literally don't have enough money for any of it. So <laughs> I don't know, man. It is what it is. Hopefully, we find some more stuff later on in the week. All right, so some bad news. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like this Air Jordan 14s we found last week that I was all excited about are fake. And uh, I, I checked them on the the uh, unboxed app. And uh, they came up as fake. And uh, honestly, I'm gonna be real, I second guessed because I was like, there's no way these are fake. They look so good. So I checked them uh, on a different app and then also in a store, and they are in fact fake. Um, which is crazy to me because I didn't know fakes were that good in 2006 or 2005 is when it says that it was made. Um, and I really think that it's that old because if you look at like the glue stains and some of the creasing and just the way that it was worn It's not like a recent fake like it's definitely an older older sneaker So I'm really surprised because I thought I was good at finding fakes and uh, yes There were some red flags like one of the logo colors was different than what it should have been for that particular uh, model um, and then also the tag when you search the SKU, it came up as a different model um, so those were two big red flags, but I thought maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I guess it was wishful thinking. I have no idea, but either way, it's fake. And what I've decided to do is um, just eat the eat the loss. Originally, I was thinking maybe I'll refund myself $10 uh, because, you know, oh, it's fair. Cause I'm not gonna, it's, no, no, it's not fair. Basically, those LeBrons cost me $20 uh, rather than $10 because of that loss with the 14s, which I'm just counting as just a scratch loss. So it is what it is. You make mistakes. We would have been $10 farther along in this collection if I hadn't bought those, but it is what it is. So. Uh, I guess onward and upward. So I'm actually stopping by a brand new thrift store. Well, it's not really a brand new thrift store. It's new to me though. Um, and I've driven past a million times and I just always thought it was a furniture store and not like a full on thrift store. So I'm gonna stop inside. Hopefully we find something. Habitat for Humanity Restore. And of course on foot today, I've got the Vessies, as you guys know. And uh, also the brand new Apothecary Halloween socks, which are dropping online on Friday the 13th at apothecary.com. And we're also having a very special event at the Linux Mall at Zoomies, where you guys can come meet us and greet us on a uh, Friday the 13th, so it's gonna be sick. We're gonna have one of the colorways of the socks, but you guys should definitely come and stop by. And uh, yeah, they're fire. It is a furniture store. All right, so uh, not exactly what I expected. Well, exactly what I expected initially, and then I convinced myself that it wasn't what I expected, and then it was exactly what I had expected. Um, the good news is, though, we did actually end up selling some sneakers on Whatnot. In fact, all of our inventory on Whatnot, so let me go through those guys really quickly. So the first pair that we sold was the Brooks Divide 3s. We grabbed those for $6.99 from Goodwill, and we ended up selling them for $20 on Whatnot. After fees, we were able to add, I believe, $17.80 back into the bank because, you know, I think the buyer paid for shipping, and then, of course, we got Whatnot fees. But that's a pretty decent amount which means we had a profit of $10.18, which is way more than I expected from that pair of shoes. The next pair that we sold, of course, were the Nike LeBron 17 Lows. We grabbed those for $10, like I mentioned earlier, uh, along with a pair of fake Air Jordan 14s, so realistically closer to 20, but we're gonna go with 10 because that's at the time what I thought I was paying for them, and we ended up selling them on Whatnot for $35. After fees, we were able to add $31.23 back into the bank, which means that we had a profit of $21.23, which is incredible. I'm really happy with that, which means we now have a new bank of $58.68, which is amazing and way more than I expected to have at this point in the journey. So I'm gonna go to Plato's Closet and see if we can find anything worthwhile. Okay, pulling up to Plato's, and the first thing I'm seeing are some black Roshi runs. Nothing crazy there. I've got some 720s. It's all kid size stuff, actually. Let me go around to the men's section. We got some New Balances right here. These are New Balance, um, shoot, I actually don't know, but they're only 25 bucks. Uh, I don't know which silhouette this is. Here are the 997s. Hmm. Not bad for 25 bucks, that might be a potential pickup. Oh, these are shiny. That's wild. You can almost see myself in there. Got some Kawhis right here. Not bad for how much? 50, ooh, a little too much. And then these, <laughs> look at these. The Team of Specials right here. That's ridiculous. They look cool though. I would never wear them, but they look cool. We do have some Air Max 95s right here. In really good condition for how much? 70, we don't have enough. Dang, that could be good though. Man, too bad. So here with some Jordan 1 mids. Are these tagged yet? 40 bucks, that's not bad. 
kid size though. Got some Nike shocks. Mm, nothing really in that bin. Let's see this bin. Nope. Bags and stuff and slides. Dang. I like to check out the games too, just in case. See if there's anything I'm missing here, anything that I recognize that's worth something. I found Guitar Hero too, which is cool. One of my favorite games growing up. But nothing too much else. Got some Adidas boot shoes here. These are probably, I have no idea what these are. A couple years ago, these would have gone for a lot. They kind of look like Ultra Boost. I think they're the, um, shoot, Supernova, that's what it's called. Supernovas, but I'm gonna leave those. Oh, we got some Hyper Dunks right here for 15 bucks. That is not bad. They're not very worn. Let me check out this particular colorway, see if it's worth anything. A bunch of pairs listed, but nothing sold, so I'm gonna leave them. Got some New Balance robes in really good condition. Probably not worth it, though. Me when I don't find anything for an entire week. So unfortunately, nothing this week. Honestly, like no new finds. I went thrifting for days and I couldn't find anything. I didn't even include all the clips in this video because it was just too many to include, but uh, nothing. And sometimes that's how it goes. But we do still have a bank fund of $58.68, which is not terrible. Hopefully next week we can go to some other thrift stores, maybe a little bit farther out. They might have stuff that I've never seen before. So I'm hopeful for that. And I do want to highlight Dallas Thrifter because he tweeted me an image of one of his craziest thrift finds. That's this pair of Josh Howard Air Jordan 8 PEs. It's amazing that he found this at the thrift store. I'm literally blown away. I would have lost my mind if I found these, but if you guys want your thrift finds featured in these upcoming videos, make sure to tweet me or Instagram me at Real Seth Fowler. Also give me a follow over there and I might feature one of your crazy thrift finds in the next video. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one.